Hi everyone. In this journey, I am driving from east of the city. East means the Woolwich side of things to South London. So Woolwich, North Woolwich to Elephant and Castle in South London. That's about seven mile journey. So we are going to round and let's get that zoom it down a bit. Okay, let's zoom it up a bit. There we go. Sorry, I'm fiddling around the, the phone thing there. Zooming, make sure then back down. Okay, let's put it in a normal zoom. Alright. That's roughly 5 a.m., 5 o'clock in the morning. A lot of people are getting up to go to work and take their flights and all the rest of it to go to the destination. And you'd be surprised that a lot of people do actually work this time of the hour. Now I'm on Aspen Way, which is the Financial district now of London, the Canary Wharf. So on my left hand side, I'm approaching it, and we will soon enter the Link House Lime Tunnel. As you can see on your on the left hand side of the screen, you see all these high rise uh, buildings, glass buildings there. You have KPMG, uh, HSBC, Citibank, you name it, all the big, big establishment there. And um, now I'm passing the Billing Gates fish market. He opens in early of the morning. The fish market in London. Now, I'm going to take the Link House, sorry, the Link House, what am I talking about? Limehouse Link Tunnel, sorry it's been a long night and when you work night shift, when it comes to this sort of hour, you just want to get home. This is always nice. Look at the view of Limehouse Link Tunnel. Uh, it is a fairly long tunnel, actually, believe it or not. It does take a few minutes to go through. But the fact is, this tunnel has a lot of cameras, see what I mean? You have a lot of traffic cameras, speed cameras. So you have to be very careful when you drive through. <laughs> um, luckily, I never got one through the letterbox any, but I have been snapped before in this tunnel a few times luckily nothing came through so maybe there were no film inside the uh, the camera you see, see 
I'm sort of driving now, um, speed light. I'm doing about 30 miles an hour. It took me a few minutes to get over the tunnel. There we go. Uh, at the end of the tunnel, there's a speed camera pointing downwards. I'm just passing it uh, slowly. There we are. They're coming out of the tunnel now. Let's put the wiper on. Now, now this this stretch of the road called the highway, and this you can go through Tower Ridge or go straight on, and this road actually links to the west side of the town. Right now, I'm almost turning onto Tower Ridge. famous tower bridge getting there as you can see on top of, on the top of the screen is Tower of London so on the right hand side I have Tower of London so I'm on the bridge itself now Tower Bridge drive very very slow the limit is 20 miles an hour on tower road. most of the roads in london now is 20 miles an hour so i'm coming up to the section where they when the ship goes past the sailing ship and this is where from this bit bridge opens and this is the middle of the bridge this bit here is the middle of the bridge where I stopped a bit and this bit here here that bit that rocking bit is the end so it just basically opens the middle of it to let all the large yacht or boat pass through Tower Ridge Road. And this this side of the town, on the south side of Tower Ridge, is called Bermondsey. So I'm entering the area of London Bar of Southwark. Tower Bridge Road on the left hand side you go Abbey Abbey, Abbey Street and on the right Long Lane quite peaceful at this time of the morning and give another hour or so this road will be chock block and now as you can see we are approaching winter time because it's now the 11th of September and we're approaching autumn and winter so we don't get light till 
about 6.30ish I think now. So our nights are becoming longer. Normally in the summertime, this sort of time you'd be like already sunrise already. Okay, now we approached the roundabout at Old Ken Road, New Ken Road, Great Dover Street. Now I'm taking New Ken Road. This part of the, the town, especially the Elephant Castle area, is going through, through a, a great transformation. So much uh, work's been done in the area, so much buildings taking place, regeneration going on. Not what it used to be. Yes, I'm giving a, a, a nice dream company, Peter Edward. Look, head of me as a, a dream company, their van's getting a bit of free publicity. Right, everyone, I'd like to thank you for watching this video and all of my other videos. Please click like, subscribe, and comment on those videos. Ahead of us is the new Elephant and Castle roundabout. If you know the area, it's a tricky one when they've redesigned the old from the old roundabout into the new one. So many people come in from outside, get muddled up because Satnav technically does not work here because the layout of the road system is so dangerous sometimes. You know, outsiders tend to make so many mistakes coming in here. got a lot of the old shopping center on my left hand side and the front of it is the the silvery cube shape uh, let me pull it up a bit yeah that's that thing there cube shape London Underground pumping station they pump the air into the both Bakerloo line and the northern line and both of them are based here underground station right I am going to turn into St. George's Road here and my journey will be finishing here at Elephant and Castle so thank you so much for watching this video We've done from North Village to Elephant and Castle, 7 miles. Please make sure you click the like button and like, subscribe button and all the other bits you do on the watching that video. Thank you.